Hi, this is Scott for Cohesive Networks. I'm here to introduce you today to VNS Cubed, our Born in Cloud Virtual Application Security Control. I'd like to tell you a bit about what makes it different and how it can be used by individuals, small businesses and large enterprise to connect, federate and secure your networks. It combines the functions of a router, a firewall, a VPN concentrator, a protocol redistributor and network function virtualization, which I'll refer to as our plugin system from here on in. VNS Cubed also incorporates an overlay network, which can be seen here on the status page. This allows you to create an encrypted network on top of your cloud network and can be useful when you need to connect conflicting address spaces across regions or cloud providers, need complete control of your traffic and encryption, or require application segmentation. Having all these functions in a single instance makes VNS Cube very flexible. Each function can be deployed individually, but we find that our customers usually combine at least three or four of the features to enhance their deployment. Here are a few popular examples. Hybrid connectivity. When you need to connect data centers, branch offices, or people to the cloud, VNS Cube makes it easy to set up and connect to IPsec and SSL TLS VPNs. In this diagram, we have our Azure VNet with some virtual machines, servers and databases. VNS Cube is centralizing and securing connectivity with its advanced firewall and VPN termination. You could also use one of the plugins for traffic monitoring or network intrusion detection and prevention. Multi-region federation. VNS Cube can be meshed to provide connectivity between regions, accounts and providers with or without full end-to-end -end encryption. Here we have two VNets in separate regions with VNS Cube controllers peered in a two-way mesh. Traffic can pass freely between both regions or you can restrict certain traffic with the firewall. Network address translation. VNS Cube can be used to provide internet access to your private subnets when configured as a NAT device. In this configuration, VNS Cube is in a public subnet whilst your sensitive servers are isolated in a private subnet. When these servers need updates or connectivity to certain services, they can reach the internet via VNS Cubed, where all traffic in and out can be monitored or restricted. VNS Cubed also has an extensive API. For more information, please see our documentation site at docs.cohesive.net. If you have any questions regarding how VNS Cubed can help with your deployments, please contact us at support.cohesive.net. Thank you for watching.